Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and today I'm back out at the West Shore Sportsman's Association with the Whitworth rifle. And um, you might recall when I was out here last time, I could not shoot the hexagonal cast bullets from the Pedisoli mold accurately. And today I'm going to try to rectify that. But these are the bullets I'm talking about. You know, the the bore of the Whitworth rifle is not actually rifled, it's a twisted hexagon. And these bullets are a twisted hexagon that matches the bore. But I couldn't shoot them well last time. Now, the first time I tried these, I patched them with paper conventionally, which means two wraps of paper around the bullet. And it was just too big to go in. Uh, I could not, couldn't get down the bore without lubing the paper which probably made it stick to the bullets and made it inaccurate. So I went back to the drawing board and I paper patched them again but this time just one wrap of paper. And we're gonna see if that works and if that doesn't I'm gonna try them bare and uh, we'll see if that works. So one way or another we'll eliminate all the possibilities with these bullets before I give up on them. All right, so my original attempt a couple of weeks ago with the hexagonal bullets, paper patched with the traditional two wraps of nine ounce onion skin paper, produced this group, uh, which was pretty abysmal. I think we would all agree, right? So going back to the range with those same bullets, patched with just one wrap around of the onion skin paper, produced this group. So we went from almost a foot to about two and a half inches. And I'm sure it could be better, but I was having a little trouble seeing the sights. Well, I'm glad I got the hexagonal bullets that are cast with the, uh, the Pedersoli uh, mold for the Whitworth to shoot. And uh, they'll shoot as well as anything when they're wrapped with one thickness of paper. But to be honest with you, since they don't really shoot any better than the cylindrical bullets uh, that are my 500 grains for 4570 that I just sized to 451. Um, I mean, they shoot about the same. In fact, the cylindricals might shoot a little bit better at, at close range. So they're easier to cast. Uh, you don't have to paper patch them, and they seem to do just as well. So I believe that I'm going to be sticking to these cylindrical bullets, that those are going to be my go-to bullets from now on. So the other thing that I learned at this range session was how to get this thing on, uh, on target for elevation at 100 yards. So 100 yards is the lowest sight setting on here. And uh, there are three ways that you can, you can position the bead on the front sight with this Whitworth sight. So you can use a fine bead, which is what I prefer to do, and, and for that, you nestle the bead right down in the V. And that gives you the most repeatable sight picture that you can have for this type of sight. Uh, but when I did that, I was shooting quite a bit low. So next I tried the full bead. And for the full bead, it's just what you would think. I'll take the bead and position the top of the bead even with the top of the rear sight. And that's the second most repeatable position because the top is a fixed point, right? But when I did that, I was shooting over the top of the target. So I went to using a mid-bead hold. And that's just what it sounds like. I try to get the bead in the middle of that V space. And the problem with that is that's kind of a value judgment on where the middle is. And, and you can vary it a little bit every time you look at it because there's no fixed reference point. But that's what got me on target. Well, I'm going to try ring and steel with the hexagonal bullets. Got it. All right, I'm going to try to ring the small steel plate with the 4570 bullet.
Got it. Again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little bonus video. You should be seeing it without ads. I did not monetize this. Uh, this is just a little freebie for you. I've made a lot of progress with the Whitworth rifle, but I don't feel that I'm 100% there yet. Still got some playing around to do with it uh, before I feel it's ready for prime time because this is, after all, a precision instrument. And right now I'm not getting precision shots out of it. And I think part of that is me and, and part of that might be my load. So I'm still going to refine things a little bit. So next time you see this, hopefully I'll have it all dialed in. But I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, if you did, you know what to do. Thumbs up. Mess up that algorithm for me because YouTube is trying to bury my stuff. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And by all means, go check out my new and improved website, MikeBellevue.com, and I'll see you next week. Bye.